HuntingClub.com, the official site of the North American Hunting Club. Hi, I'm Gordy Cron with North American Hunter Magazine. I'm here to talk to you just a little bit about calling coyotes. I think most coyote callers really rely on the prey and distress sound, and even to a fault. Yes, it's a great call because it appeals to the animal's hunger. But what they're really missing out in, on is the social aspect of calling coyotes. Coyotes are very territorial and they're very social animals. So you want to be able to appeal to that, um, that socialization by using their own vocalizations. And this is how you do it. This is a coyote howler. It's able to produce a lot of the sounds that coyotes make. First off, I'm going to show you the greeting call. And it's the call I use to locate coyotes driving around the back roads trying to get a response so I know there are coyotes in the area or when I'm sitting down on stand to use just to draw them in. Curiosity, appeal to that social aspect and it sounds something like this. And basically what I'm saying, I'm just saying, hey, is there anybody out there? I'm over here, you want to come check me out? It's just a very social, just a friendly greeting. The second call I use is a more aggressive call. And I use this late in the season, during the mating season, when coyotes are very territorial. They're looking for mates, they've got mates, they're establishing territories where they're going to raise their pups. Now what you can do is sneak in and try to challenge these dogs you know, challenge their territory, and usually what they'll do is come over and take a look, try to run you out of their territory. These calls sound something like this. As you can hear, that's a lot more aggressive, and what's telling this other coyote is that I'm another dominant dog, I'm in your territory, um, what are you going to do about it? A lot of times he's going to come in and take a look, or he's going to sit there and bark at you and challenge you to come over there. You don't want to get into that game. If he doesn't want, if he doesn't come in, you want to just bail out, maybe try to attack from another angle. The other sound that you can do with these, and I usually use it to try to stop dogs when they're running. There's two ways you can do that: with a bark or a pup whine. It goes something like this. That'll usually stop a coyote in its tracks. Um, the pup whining is just, it's kind of the sound like when you step on your dog's tail. And what it does, it just usually elicits a stop and look response or it'll actually draw in coyotes. And it sounds something like this. Now the best time to use that call is after you shot one coyote. Now there might be another coyote coming into the area that you haven't seen yet, probably its mate. And by using that sound, even after the shot, a lot of times you can call that other coyote in using the pup whine. So there you have it. You've got to be able to appeal to the social aspect of calling coyotes too, by using their own vocalizations. For more tips on all things hunting, including predator hunting, go to huntingclub.com.